<laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> hey, it's Rupert Guerra, everybody. Bobby Bash. Who we got going? Oh, it's Babe Ruth. <laughs> hey, when you're ready to rock out, you gotta you gotta have the look. There you go. Have have some have some uh, music. Babe Ruth making a diving catch. I know, right? All right. So last time we played, we upped the difficulty a little bit. So the ego is kind of all over the place. We're at 77 batting, 74 pitching, 90 base running, and 99 fielding. The only reason it's not at 99 base running is because you cannot steal at all when you do that. And I just think that takes the realism out of it. All right. So the last time we left off, we were trying to decide whether we want to get rid of our next pitcher, Ray Wilcox, who's 0-1 with a 6 ERA and maybe sign somebody else in his stead. I don't know what Windows has done, but now it's showing uh, different buttons. What have you done, Steam? Oh, it's a hat of destiny, AC. Duh. For everybody that's walked in. I hope the answer is yes. Lethal wants to get rid of this guy. Wow, okay. Well, I guess if we look at our team, the pitcher we're replacing only makes $2.8 million. So, the other thing we got to keep in mind is that he is competitive. So if we replace him with somebody, she is the yellow. So we may lose tier three on that. I didn't think y'all would be so much in the air trying to bring her in. Air love stone. I mean, the other B pitchers we have is Gary Rahner, Finn County. He's walk prone, though. Doesn't have an elite football. She's still 0.3 more than uh, advertised, but I think that's acceptable. She is 36. Um, we can, I mean, going higher... Uh, the problem is obviously cost. If we go down a little bit, we've got the Nita Diligence. We usually don't want to drop down below uh, what is... I mean, Meow Bupkins has 46 accuracy. No, no, no. She has 76. Ray Wilcox is 45. Because it's the... Uh, Check in on the weather. That fourth I column there. Very large, very so you want to keep a pretty high uh, accuracy. And besides, just took some Finn, Air, and Ryder have it. And what's Finn got? He's only got three pitches, though. That kind of scares me. Oh, he's a closer. Never mind. Well, that's something we need to do. Oh, so she's the top starting pitcher still left out there. And she's the best at accuracy besides Hannah Hogswild. What is McCrady about? What? Who are you talking about? A oh, rider? Plus... Point nine, but he's a reliever.
Yeah, your starting pitchers start here and go up. Like I said, looking at that, oops, looking at this fourth column here of this accuracy, Hannah Hogswild at 61. Rusty Nozzle has 51, but she's 72. And her and Bella Meatball has, but Bella Meatball also does meltdowns. So a lot of you are pushing for air. Oh no. Now why did it have Jessica selected? So if we do this, we do lose that third tier chemistry And I mean, what we could do is get rid of Dwight Breeze and bring in another workhorse. No, we couldn't do that either because if we get rid of him, we would lose the third tier on the purple. So this is what y'all want to do. It would be velocity going from 30 to 39, junk from 40 or 26 to 42, Accuracy from 45 to 72. We would be spending $5 million more or so. Spend it or end it. Wow. Okay. All right. She signed. So, yeah, I think the easiest thing to do, let's see. We go look at my team. It would be be getting rid of one of these uh greens. What says here his chemistry is super mega baseball. Oh, his chemistry is the green. So, yeah, we could find a cheap orange maybe. Who's a reliever? Chance Lauderberry. I think some of these are closers. Okay, starting here, me commonly, they... So we have Huck and Duck, who would bump us back up, who's 1.7. Omar Chombo, he's got terrible accuracy. Huck and Duck actually has 42. Chance Lauderberry is 40. What's reverse splits? I mean, it would be between those two, and that would get us some of our money back. And we don't really utilize all of our... Um, Six twenty forty. Oh yeah, uh, Huck and Duck is way better. Though we would lose. <laughs> so, so for four hundred thousand dollars less, we get a younger player. He's got better velocity, a little less junk, but more accuracy. He is wild, though. And he's a power hitter if we need a pitch hitter.
I think that's a no-brainer on that one. Uh, if you're desperate, you would, young straight. I've seen the computer do it. Sign a player in franchise mode who boosts the chemistry to the highest level. All right, we got an achievement. All right, so we got some different players. The Green River Sirens have signed Huck and Duck, replacing Dwight Breeze. And Air Lovestone gets signed onto the Green River Sirens, uh, replacing Ray Wilcox. She will be pitching in the next game. Look at the lethal feline making it up to the uh, notable players. I'll have to uh, update our uh, thing. All right, so first game tonight, we got the Tucson Overdogs. But first, if the playoffs were today, we would be the one seed in the Americas Conference. Brisbane, Laura Keats would be the one seed over in the Global Conference. But there's a lot of teams. I think only right now the Vancouver Moose are struggling pretty heavily. But everybody else is still in striking distance. I am a little bit worried about our run difference, though. We got to bump up the difficulty again. We will. We are playing a team who is. They got Fran Gapani on the mound. She's pretty stout. She's got an elite fastball, but she's volatile. Oh, they got Jack Brennan on their team. Jack Brennan is freaking amazing. So. He's going to be a scary. Let's see. Chon is having a rough time, so let's bring in... You know, we've not started Norbert before, so I think I'm going to give him a chance. Tish Ballin. We'll substitute her and bring in Damian Rush again. We will definitely move Rush. Up the order there. I think we're on the road today for this one, right? Yeah. We're heading to Tucson. Lineup is looking good. Are you ready to play ball? I am. Oh, and Captain Pete, thank you so much for the sub earlier. I appreciate that. Thank you for being a friend. We're going to Red Rock Park in Tucson, Arizona. Can you imagine me with this much hair in real life? Me either. All right, we're defensive experts. They are rotational aces. We've got a new pitcher on the mound today. We just signed her on the way to Tucson. I don't know if I like the... Why are our sleeves white? Someone with a lot of hair, it's pretty good. Yeah, Seven uh, rubs his hairline in too. All right, first at bat, we got Lethal D Feline batting 292 here, going up against Fran Capani. First pitch is right down the gut. One and one, good eye on that one for Lethal. That one's tipped up, but it's going to go foul. That'll make the count one and two. That's hit down the line, but that's going to go foul. Lethal stays alive. That's hit right up the gut. And that's going to be a leadoff base hit for the Sirens. Now batting, the right fielder. Had to bring up Norbert Owens. He's batting 333. He only had some pitch hitting action this season. We'll see if he could do something. Ball inside. Pitch come in really hot. Oh, they're worried about lethal over there on first. Slides back in. She's safe. That's it. That could be a double play ball. There's one. Nacho Chris throws, and that is a 4-6-3 double play. So that'll bring up Rip Dingers. He is leading the league in home runs with nine, 17 RBIs. He'll foul that one away. 99 power on it, though. That's hit up the gut, and it's going to get by for a base hit. So straight up the gut goes to Sirens today. Base hit after base hit, but... Nothing really to show for it right now. That'll bring up Buck Swiner. He's batting 341. 
See if he can bring in the Pontar here for the Sirens. He'll draw ball one on that first pitch. Oh, that ball's hit deep. It's got a chance. It's hitting back. Put it on the board. A two-run shot for Buck Swiner. And the Sirens jump up here early two to nothing. That's only his second home run of the season. That actually was not a clean hit. It just come off the bat and went opposite field. And somehow, that would put us on the board. That's a ground ball, but I think Nacho Crisp is going to handle that one. And that... That was close. Tucson, the home team, coming up here this inning. They got Cortez, Hog Porker, and Jack Brennan, the viewer, ready to bat. All right, we'll see what Air Lovestone can do today. Jack Brennan about to make his appearance on stream. Oh, that's a terrible curveball. He'll foul it off. Let's try this fork ball out and see what she's got with it. Ooh, we got a piece of that. You know, likey. That's a terrible slider. Ground ball, lethal is going to get it while it's fair. And step on the bag, that's out number one. That'll bring up Hog Porker. He's batting a buck 85, only one RBI this season. First pitch called ball, 1-0 pitch. That's ball two. Lovestone just not getting any love here. Oh, and that just gets by Rip Dingers. It wouldn't let me dive, so that's going to put one on. That's a terrible throw. Got to put one on for Jack Brennan, the dangerous man. Only two home runs, batting 167 this season. We're one swing away from this being a tie game. He'll take ball one. That's hit. That is going to get through, so Brennan puts two on. Two on and one out here in the bottom of the first. Roman Beasley. 326, two home runs. He's got a chin that you could build a skyscraper on. He'll take strike one. Lovestone delivers. That one's popped up. Swiner calls for it. He'll make the catch. Runners retreat. Two outs, runners on first and second. Nacho Crisp steps up. Bat a crisp, 290. That's a bad pitch. I'm lucky he was late. He thought about going for that. Fork balls right to rip dingers, and that will end the inning. We'll head to the second inning. You love to see it. Figueroa, Stokes, and Jessica Donovan coming up. Fran Gapani coming back out after getting up three hits and two runs in the first, seeing if she could calm down, keep the overdogs in it. How about the shortstop, number 10. We did seven. We signed two players. Eduardo Figueroa batting 357. He'll take strike one from Gapani. That is popped straight up. Three runners. The center fielder finally, Batch Wilson, will bring it in. One away. Here's Annabella Stokes batting 400. She's not a power hitter, but she's been consistent this season for the Sirens. I swear, they just go down the pipe now. That's hit hard. Oh, Jack Brennan, what a dive! And he makes the throw for out number two. Holy cow. Big defense from the third baseman there. A Jack Brennan guy. Makes me sick. Jessica Donovan, big swing and a miss on the first pitch. He'll foul that one back. She falls 0-2 in the count all of a sudden. High ball. Bowed that one back. Won't two and two still. Full count. She's going to get hit up the middle. You get a hit up the middle. And you get a hit up the middle. And you get a hit up the middle. Now to bring up the pitcher. Here's Air. She got some uh, thigh muscles going on there. I don't know what kind of uh, 
action that is, but that was unique. And oh, she's gonna send it. Oh, Cardoso Cortez playing up. Catches it for out number three, retires the side. We'll head to the bottom of the second. Wilson, Cody Club, and Frank Battery do up for the Overdogs. He's going to fall 0-2 in the count now. Let's see if we can get him with this fork ball. They don't bite on it, really. We'll try it again over here. And we fouled it off. He anticipated that, huh? Uh-oh. That ball's going back, and that is going to be one on the board for the Overdogs. The home fans rejoice. It's going to be a 2-1 game. He caught that slider 368 feet right down the line. That's Wilson's first home run of the season because, of course, it is. And the Overdogs are right back in. It is Cody Club. I want to call him Club Cody for some reason. Steps into the box. Two count. Let's try not to get... We're up here, and that's ground ball. Rips there. Rip throws it across. That'll be one out. Bring battery stepping in. 267 average on the season. Nine ribbies and a home run to boot. We'll pop that one up. Rush is on the prowl. He'll make the catch two away. Here's the pitcher. Batting zero. And going to continue to bat zero unless Lethal makes a tragic mistake here. And that will end the inning. We head to the third. Top of the order. Due up for the Green River Sirens. Lethal DP line. Norbert Owens and Rip Dingers. What's a Metallica? See what Lethal can do here. Hard hit, but right at Nacho Crisp. And he'll handle that one with ease. Hey, Veggie. You mean Napster? What? Norbert Owen steps up here. He'll take a high ball one. Ooh, he got a piece of that one, but maybe a little too much. Right fielder, left fielder, excuse me. Cardoso Cortez, double C, makes the catch. Here's Rip Dingers, one for one today. Rip is our offense. That may be more offense right there. Rip got a hold of that one. Is it enough to put it on the board? Four hundred and thirty two feet is tenth of the season. Eighteenth RBI. Rip just keeps adding to it. Buck Swiner already had a home run today. We'll take ball one. Rip trying to go for MVP of the season, I think. Oh my God, Buck Swiner, did he do it? Put it on the board, back to back for the Sirens. His second home run of the day. 472 feet, his third of the season. Yapani. Struggling here early in this one. Matt Nutmegzer. Another one up the middle. Now back the shortstop, number 10, Eduardo Figueroa. Two home runs to try to kill her. Oh, got a piece of that one. Just a little late on it. Fouls it off to the left. That's ground ball. This could be double play. Nope. Porker just goes to first. And that will end the inning. 
Because there's already two outs, Steve. What are you thinking? We'll head to the bottom of the third. Lovestone got a three-run lead to work with. Cortez Porker and Jack Brennan coming up. My God, who would have thought numbers worked that way? Ooh. Round ball, there's Lethal. She'll handle that. Step on the bag, one away. Here's Hog Porker. He's already got a hit today. This is a divisional game. We'll play them back to back. That pitch is in there. That's a terrible curveball. Hard hit, but foul. Two and two count now. Oh, excuse you. Got him, and that's her first strikeout as a siren, and she'll wave goodbye to him. That'll bring up Jack Brennan. It's bad. Okay, stay in. Brennan got a hold up. God, he's almost a second already. So that's a stand-up double for Brennan here with two outs. That'll bring up Roman Beasley. Foul that one back. Did he slide? Oh, I didn't see that. O2 pitch. One, two. Uh, what is your malfunction? That's popped up. That should do it. It's trailing foul. Owens is over there, and he makes the catch. We head to the fourth. It's 4-1. Annabella Stokes, Jessica Donovan, Air Lovestone do up the bottom of the order for the Sirens. Who know to Annabella here? She'll bounce it, and that's up the middle. Every hit is up the middle. Now back, the catcher, number and I bring up Jessica Donovan, Jessica one for one today. Hard hit, and that's going to get by. So that's going to put two on, no out. Nacho Crisp just couldn't right. extend to it. That'll bring up the number pitcher, Lovestone. Not sure what that face is. It scared me a little bit. And that's going to be the end of the day for Fran Gapani. Nadia Kane coming in. 2-9-2 ERA. 13 strikeouts on the season. We bump that one forward and it's foul. She throws sidearm. This is awful. Oh, that's going to be a double play. The computer did to me what I usually do to it. Had to bring up lethal. Oh, that was perfect, and I missed it. That was not perfect. Beasley will step on the bag, and that retires the side. We head to the bottom of the fourth. Nacho Chris, Batch Wilson, and Cody Club do up here for the Tucson Overdogs. Chris 0 for 1 today. Well, we redeemed so many last game. That was anticipated. I'm not sure how they're already anticipating her. That's scary. That's popped up. That was a terrible swing by them. Stokes will handle it one away. Nacho Crisp. Here's Batch Wilson. Scored the only run for the Overdogs today. Take strike one. One-one pitch. They'll pop that up. 
Norbert Owens, he's a little slow. He will make the catch for out number two. Had to bring up Cody Club. Home fans trying to get their boys motivated. Club hits that and Stokes, what a catch. Let's go. We'll head to the fifth inning. Owens, Dingers, and Swiner up. Holy cow. Norbert Owens, we gave him a start today, but he's not done too well. 0 for 2. He'll go against Nadia Kane. And he'll get a base hit. That's up the middle. May have to up the batting ego a notch. He's the notch. Because with all these being up the middle, that means I'm like having like kind of perfect timing. Here's Rip Dingers, though. He's 2 for 2. Yeah, I didn't catch up to that one. It's only triple digits. Well! Rip Dingers continues to deliver. Hit on the board, a two-run shot. His 11th of the season. Holy cow. Rip Dingers is just dangerous because he's got that super huge, like, contact down there in the bottom of the zone. Yeah, they always throw that down there for him. Well, that's a bad shot. Here's Brennan, and he shows off his arm. That's one away. Yeah, that's the problem with us. Here's Damian Rush. 300 average on the season now. One for two today. That's right back to Kane. She'll get out number two. Now the short stop, number Figueroa ten. struggling today, 0 for 2. Figueroa. Oh, and Kane couldn't handle that one. Figueroa trying to run. Can she get him? She does. That will retire the side. Frank Battery. Nadia Kane and Cardoso Cordez. Turn of the order do up here for Tucson. We gotta remember we did improve our pitcher too, so. We have four pretty studly pitchers. Let's see if they'll go for it. He indeed went for it. Put it up last time, uh, 36. Ball not outside. One ball. Lethal. Couldn't. Oh, does handle it. Now batting. The left fielder, number 21, Cardoso Cortez. I'll put batting up one right between this inning. That's a swing. That's bad curveball. Good, good legs from Rush to cut that off. But two out single here in the bottom of the fifth. Had to bring up Hog Porker. That's a hard hit ball, but that's right to Annabelle Stokes. She'll throw wild, but lethal will handle it. And we'll hit. Okay. Since you all are throwing. Oops. Go up to 78 batting. Watch, I'll put a... Uh... Well, we went up one last time, too. All right, Stokes, Donovan, I put both of them up, pitching and hitting. Then watch me, like, get skunked. Broken bat, that's going to make it 0-2. That went above my head. Hard hit ball, but right to Jack Brennan. He'll throw across the diamond one away. Now batting, the catcher, number 24. I mean, yeah, with Jessica Donovan's two for two, maybe. I don't like the jerseys have the white part here. We got to change that after this game. Remind me. Nope, inside. 
Only one. That's terrible. Frank Battery throws her out. Now batting the pitcher number 26, Air Lovestone. Here's Lovestone, 0 for 2 today. It's hard hit, but right to the second baseman, Hog Porker. And that will retire the side. Jack Brennan leading off. He's two for two today. Beasley and Nacho Crisp. Ooh, he took that. Oh, what a pitch. Got him swinging. Let's go. Roman Beasley steps up 0 for 2 in the day. Hubstone delivers. That'll be ball one. It's a bad curveball. Ground ball. Rip Dingers is there. The throw. Two away. Nacho Crisp 0 for 2 today. See Jessica Donovan put in the signs. Look like a fastball coming in. That's hit. Swiner. What a catch. Let's go. Holy cow. I will hydrate. Great. I will hydrate. Lethal D line, Norbert Owens and Rip Dingers coming up here, top of the order in the seventh. Well, the move went great. My mom is back in her house for the first time in four years. She stayed the night Saturday night. She stayed the night Sunday night, and she's staying the night tonight. So she's starting to get settled down. We just got to do a few extra things. Um, we did find out that the shower that we had built for her through three different contractors does hold water. So we're going to have to uh, probably get a guy in there to work on that. But other than that, everything else is pretty well right now. Uh, what are you talking about, um, veggie? Am I not showing my face? It should be up there. But anyway, there's Lethal. Let's see what Lethal could do. Oh my god, that the fast pitches are looking fast. That's up the middle, and Lethal's gonna get a best... <laughs> up there you are. <laughs> Lethal's gonna get another base hit there. And to bring up Norbert Owens. One for three today. That's right up the middle. Nacho Crisp gets lethal, but won't get Owens on the fielder's choice. I was going to steal, but I didn't. So that to bring up the man, Rip Dingers. Two, three for three today. He's got two home runs and a single. Will they face him? They are. That was up high. I figured she might walk him. Get hard, but right to the center fielder, Batch Wilson, and they will finally get Rip Dingers out. Here's Buck Swiner. He as well has two home runs. Can he jump? Rip Dingers. Take pitch one. Not on a 97 mile per hour fastball. What in the bottom of the seventh? Batch Wilson, Cody Club, and Bank Frank. Frank, Frank Battery do up. 6-1 game here. Hatch Wilson, he has a home run today. The only run today for, that was a hanging curveball. He should have just destroyed that, but he missed. Come on, air. That's bad. That's inside. Well, count pitch. He hits it. It goes foul. Here's another payoff pitch. He'll foul it off. He hit the fork ball. Let's try it again. 
Oh, he'll hit that. Owens on the run. What a catch. Defense showing off the day. You know, I don't think we've been hit by the pitcher, and we've not hit a pitcher. What the hell? Well, your hands move a lot while you're playing, so. O2 pitch. Set him down. Trying to bring up Frank Battery. Battery. All right, look at Travis utilizing the emotes or emojis or whatever they're called. Whatever you young people call them nowadays. That ball's hit hard. Oh, Annabella couldn't get to that one. So a two out single here in the bottom of the seventh. Will they leave Kane in? I'm going to say no. And they don't. Biff Noggin's going to come in here. He's batting zero, zero, zero. So Nadia Kane's day is over. Runner on first. Tucson trying to get something going. Oh, that's terrible fastball. He should have ripped that. She's got to be getting... Yeah, she's a little tired. Ground ball. Stokes should have that one, though, and that will end the inning. So, little Bupton going to come in here. He is juiced. 4.15 ERA, five strikeouts. He's got an elite slider, and he's a K collector. See if he can come in and do some busting. 6-1 game. He'll be facing Damian Rush, Eduardo Figueroa, and Annabella Stokes. <laughs> All right, Rush. I'm going to let you swing for power. I don't normally do that, but that was, that was a wicked pitch. Hmm, his slider slides. Yep, that's an elite slider. He threw three straight sliders. Look at his junk. That's right back at him. Oh, look at that. He's just like, oh. So two quick outs. That'll bring up Annabella Stokes. Well, yeah, his he where he's juiced. Look at his his junk meter. It's freaking through the. Uh, <laughs> it's it's into the orange past the uh, thing. It's almost like a hundred and. Five or something. Oh, Annabella Stokes almost got it. Look at his junk. It's heavy. Oh, Annabella Stokes got a piece of that, but she's not a power hitter, so it's not going to matter. That'll take us to the bottom of the eighth. Those pesky taxes with bogus docks Cortez, Porker, Brennan coming up here. That's funny that Rocket League quote come up. I was, I, we were talking smack in a our WoW officer chat the other day about Rocket League. And I was like, hey, you're talking to somebody who's made it the champion. <laughs> oh. Bullpen warming up here for the Sirens. That's hard hit. Lethal. Good grab with the glove there. That's one away. There's another game that went down the tank for PGA Tour. They destroyed that. We've not struck anybody out on a fork ball. We still haven't. That'll go to Stokes. Routine the first. Two away. That'll bring up Jack Brennan. He's been the one highlight for the Overdogs today. Can we, get him, can we get him swinging again? I'm saying yeah. Oh, he got a piece of it. Figueroa's got it. Oh, just got him. We'll head to the ninth. 
Will Air Love Stone get a complete game in her first start for the Sirens? Now batting the catcher. Jessica Donovan. Pretty good day today for her. Two for three. Dude. Good times. Winner winning chicken. Too bad the uh the hackers took over that. Man, this 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 reliever is pretty stout with his sliders. Number 26, Air Love Stone. She's locked in and got power of like three. Oh, is it their closer? Is he this? Yeah, he is. Little Bupton, you're right. One one pitch. That's up. Two one. Mm, two and two. One out here. K collector in effect. That's a chopper. Nacho Chris throws. Lovestone. We told her to run slow. The first baseman, number 86. His slider dangerous. That'll bring up lethal. I'm gonna let lethal swing for power. Mm. Come on, lethal. Oh no, there's no way that missed. That second one should have been a hit. I'm just saying. We go to the bottom of the ninth. Last chance for the overdogs. Beasley, Crisp, and Wilson. Little Bupton. I wonder how much they're paying for him. Computer. Don't you do it! Beasley's third home run of the season makes it a 6 2 game. Had to bring up Nacho Crisp. Okay. I was about to say. Had to bring up Batch Wilson. He does have a home run today. Hard hit, but that should be out number two to Stokes, and it is. Lovestone is one out away. Will they leave Cody Club in the bat? He's rattled. She is one out away from her first complete game for the Sirens. No, inside. Ball outside. You're not getting any calls. That's going to be a ball. Yep. And that's a ground ball to lethal, and that should do it. And the Sirens will get the win. 6-2, Air Love Stone, a complete game. You love to see it. Well, hits for the Sirens. Though we, it did go down a little bit once we turned the thing up. Thank you, Zenus. So we'll see how the second game goes. We may not score anything. Lethal goes two for five today. Norbert, who gets his first start of the season, one for four. Rip Dingers, two home runs, three for four. Swiner, two hits, both out of the yard. Both had three RBIs apiece. That's our offense, two players. Rush, a hit. Stokes, a hit. Two for Donovan. Lovestone, no hits, but she did her job on the pitching. Jack Brennan goes two for four with a strikeout. Lovestone, nine innings pitch, give up seven hits, two earned runs, four strikeouts. Did give up two home runs on the day, but will pick up her first win of the season. Gapani with a loss, three innings pitch, nine hits, four earned runs, three home runs on the day. We'll pick up the loss. Kane and Bupton coming in doing God's work. Four strikeouts between them and six innings. Only three hits after the fact. But Rick Dingers is your player of the game. Three for four, two home runs with three RBIs and three runs himself. Buck Swiner will take the second, two for four, two home runs, three RBIs, only two runs. And then Air Lovestone, a complete game, four strikeouts, seven hits, two earned runs. Hmm. I'll have to be more patient at the plate now that we've raised things up. Or, uh... Cray-cray. 
All right, so let's see what's going on in the world. Hollywood and the Blowfish. Blowfish on top. Oh, Hollywood gave him a fight, but 5-4 win for Kyoto. Lublania, B-Wolves there. Lose to the London Royals. London Royals going to jump them in the standings. DC Defenders losing big to, no, they've made it close to the end, but the Platypi get the win. Wild Pigs of Wichita lose it in the end. Tijuana takes the win. Moonstars getting thumped. Trying to come back. Still get thumped by the San Juan Sandcats. Here's New York. They'll win a close one. One nil. Nil. I'm stuck in soccer mode. Cape Town comes back and wins an extra innings over the Moose, and the Moose's woes continue. Brisbane Lorikeets trying to come back, but they're going to lose 12 7 to the Sapporo Snow Foxes. Freebooters, big day against the Caracas Cobras. And Wyoming Wide Loads going wide on the hot corners of Iowa. See if the Cyberbots can reprogram the Sawfish, and they do. Are the Saw Teeth? Are they Sawfish? They're Saw Teeth. My bad. Guadalupe or Guadalupe? Guadalupe? I should have made him Guadalupe. Uh, the Guadalajara loses one there. Prague loses a close one to Osaka. It looks like now. Good Lord, the Birmingham Buzzards are plus 30. We're plus 31. That's going to change, though, since we raised everything up some more. London out of the cellar. Lima trying to struggle back. Maybe they just had a hard schedule to start. Lots of 500 teams around the league or teams close to it. Let's see who we got. Player development. Endorsement contract for air already. But it comes with a price of losing workhorse, which I don't know if I want to take that. Jess Fowl won an arm wrestling competition. She picked up six arm. Grizz, we can adopt a puppy for him. I mean, at 39 years old, I feel like we have to, don't we? Hundred thirty-eight thousand for a puppy. I mean, he can get that. I want that secondary position. That's well worth it if he can get it. I mean, he may not. It's only ten percent, but we'll try. Uh oh, he got the speed, of course, so he won't get the uh, first base. No. Nope. Oh well, that will help his loyalty a little bit. All right. So the computer's not done anything else. We are the only ones who have signed anybody on. All right, you all. Now, my question is here. I don't think I can edit us unless I go out here. There we go. I also wanted to, uh, I think they fixed the, um, 